Joining us now to tell us the ways in which uh, he's trying to hold the administration accountable, our friend, Dr. Larry Kawa, president of the American, uh, the American Courage Pack. Takes courage to say that, Larry. <laughs> also the owner of Kawa Orthodontics. Uh, we're so happy to have you back here, Larry, and just want to know what's going on with the lawsuit. Well, uh, we have graduated to the 11th Circuit Court in Atlanta, Georgia. Uh, on Tuesday, we're going to be holding oral arguments. Uh, I, it, I believe it's the first case on the 41 illegal executive actions within the context of Obamacare where the court has actually granted oral arguments and we're fighting for standing. Uh, we believe that we have it. We simply need the three-judge panel to recognize that we do. And if we do, then we'll be holding the actual trial here in South Florida in the Southern District of Florida Federal Court. Larry, if the court rules in your favor, the mandate would go into effect, we know, immediately, something many businesses and administrations don't want. So my question for you is, have you received any grief yet from other businesses? I haven't. I think that many businesses truly don't understand the implications of it. However, it's a law that the elected officials of America wanted. And it's not that I want to see any American law fail. I want to see it stand or fall under the predicates of its own merits, not manipulate the law. If the law says something should happen, it should happen. The president has a fiduciary duty under Article II of the Constitution to enforce the existing laws whether he likes them or not. It clearly says in the employer mandate that the law shall begin January 1 of 2014. There's nothing nebulous about that, and we have to ask ourselves, if he could change any law that he wants, why can't he change every law that he wants? It does carry grave implications uh, for really Constitution and the future of uh, executive overreach, I guess we would call it. Uh, with all that's going on, earlier this week we heard about Walmart announcing a major decision. Walmart is joining now just as Target and Home Depot and Trader Joe's, another of, uh, a number of other companies saying, look, we're going to restrict hours, we're going to cut back health coverage for part-timers. Uh, in your mind, is this just a direct result of this looming employer mandate? Uh, I think that that is a very big factor within it. It's really designed to create a part-time American employment. Uh, and it was a decision that was made by the president alone to, uh, to have that done. As you sit here, you're with, working with Judicial Watch. You're operating your own uh, practice. Uh, what do you think is going to happen? I, I know you filed this. You're in it to win it. Uh, but it's more than just making a point. I don't like to be presumptuous and assume that we're going to win it. But if we do win it, there's two things that we've asked the court for. Number one is a declaratory action for them to declare the administration having acted in a knowingly unconstitutional way. Uh, and bear in mind, we've sued the IRS, the commissioner of the IRS, the Department of the Treasury, and the secretary of the Department of Treasury. The second thing that we've asked for is for them to set aside the illegal waiver of the employer mandate. Let the law work. Let America get a taste of what the law really represents and uh, see if they like it or not before it can dig its roots in too deep. Yeah, what's interesting about this thing, Francesca, is we sit here with our friend Larry, and I guess the decision would come down. It would be known as the Kawa decision. <laughs> <laughs> I would be honored, but I'll keep my name just with orthodontics. Fair enough. Larry Cowell, we thank you very much. And uh, the whole notion of executive overreach is really something that, uh, that we've been talking about for a long time. It's why our friend Dick Morris wrote uh, the new book, Power Grab, Obama's Dangerous Plan for a One-Party Nation. Dick sat down with his wife, Eileen McGann, and they put together this expose of the Obama administration, an effort to downgrade uh, the, the Republican Party and really set up a one-party nation. You can get Power Grab at any bookstore or on Amazon, where it's the number one bestseller among political books. If you want more information, you can go to the website powergrab411.com. Now, as chronicled just a minute ago, Dr. Larry Kawa and Judicial Watch trying to deal with this power grab in terms of unilateral mandates, your take on the lawsuit and the whole notion of an employer's mandate. We'd love to hear from you. Why don't you uh, tweet me your comments at Newsmax TV, hashtag America's Forum. And America's Forum is coming right back.